Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you how to make buffalo cauliflower, which so many of you have been asking for this recipe for so long, and I'm going to bring it to you because I think it's perfect for game day. Uh, you know, right now it's, we're still in football season, so this would be a great addition to your like snack table. And I want to share it with you because it's easy, it's simple, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients, but don't walk away from this recipe thinking you're going to get crispy buffalo wings because that's just not the case because you're working with a vegetable and vegetables have moisture so it's not going to be as crispy it will still be delicious but you gotta you know i can't work magic <laughs> it's delicious but i can't work magic you know okay let's talk about what you'll need for the batter all you need is some all-purpose flour i've got paprika and here i have a mixture that i make of my, uh, my own which is just some salt pepper granulated garlic a little bit of parsley that you dry parsley a little granulated onion and then just like a all like all-purpose everyday seasoning you can use something like the 21 salute by trader joe's you can use any mrs dash that like you want whatever you feel like you love and that you have on hand all the time add it to whatever you're cooking it makes everything better for the cauliflower you want to make sure that your cauliflower florets are not too small. If they're really, really small, they're going to wilt really quickly and they won't hold any shape at all. So what I tend to do actually, if I'm feeding a lot of people, more than four, I tend to get two heads of cauliflower because from both of them, I'll get enough really big florets to make everybody happy. Does that make sense? Okay, let's get started. If you hear nasally, it's because we're still battling a cold season over here. And, uh, you know, it, you know the nasaliness continues forever and ever and ever, just lingers for a lifetime. You're going to add some water to your flour mixture, and you're just going to whisk this until it turns into a batter. It so it's cannot be too thick, because you don't want your cauliflower florets to be coated really heavily. Um, and I also wanted to tell you that I tested this recipe using a gluten-free flour, and it worked just as well. The only difference I noticed is that Usually you'll need about equal parts water to flour, uh, but for gluten-free flour, I needed a lot more water just because it was a lot thicker and a lot drier. So that's it, but it works just the same, which is wonderful. I've got my oven preheating to 475. If your oven's really, really hot, then do 450. Mine is not, so 475 is perfect. And I have an oiled, I have a baking sheet with parchment paper that I've oiled a little bit. I'm gonna add just a touch more water. Just gonna mix that in. We're nearly there. Add your florets and just give everything a tossy toss to make sure that the cauliflower is well coated. So what you do is when you take them out of the batter, look at you. You want to make sure. I was gonna say, look at what I'm doing here. <laughs> you want to make sure you shake off any excess batter, so that way it's not just like pulling up you know, in the bottom of the, of the tray. Get it all out of there. Now I'm gonna pop this into my oven. As I said, mine's preheated to 475 because I know my oven and it needs a little extra heat. Uh, but if your oven's really, really hot, then 450 will do. Now I've also tested this using an air fryer. Now every air fryer is different. Mine, the one that I use every day that sits on my counter is like the emerald one that looks like a toaster. You've seen it many, many times on Instagram. And for that one, I preheated the air fryer to 400. I popped these babies in for 15 minutes, and then once they came out, I coated them and then popped them back in for 10 minutes. But here, I'm gonna pop them into my oven at 475 for about 15 minutes as well, and then I'll come out, and we're gonna brush them with the sauce, and then we're gonna pop them back in. All right, so my cauliflower was in the oven for 15 minutes. And now what I have in this bowl is just my favorite hot sauce, like my favorite buffalo sauce. Listen, it's gonna be Frank's. You know what I'm saying? You put that on everything. Some Frank's hot sauce is my favorite. Whatever buffalo sauce you love, use that. And I added a little bit of melted butter to it. And now I'm just brushing it all over the cauliflower. And it already smells absolutely delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. If you wanted to keep this like, you know, completely vegan, you could just totally use a little bit of olive oil instead of butter or any butter substitute that you like and it would be perfection. It is so good, really and truly so good. Now I'm gonna tell you how I like to eat this. You can eat it as a replacement for wings, absolutely. But this on a salad is phenomenal, cold the next day. I know maybe I'm weird, but so good with homemade ranch with lots of dill in there. Ooh, Nelly is delicious. So if you've got leftovers, that's a great way to eat it. 
almost done. And then I do one thing that you don't have to do, but I do think it makes a difference and I do think it makes it just a little bit more delicious, tiny bit crunchy, um, you know, delish. Sprinkle a little breadcrumb on each one for a little bit of texture, but not a whole lot. You can see probably in total, I'm using two tablespoons, you know? And I'm gonna pop these right back into my oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. And I'll show you what they look like when they're done. These just came out of the oven and they look fantastic. They smell delicious. I don't even know which one I wanna go into, but I'll grab that one. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. The bottom has a gorgeous little, timer's off, a gorgeous little crust. And like I said, it, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be, it's crispy at the bottom, you see that? <laughs> it's not gonna be as crispy as a regular buffalo wing, but you know, you can't expect, oh, it's hot, even on my finger. You can't accept that, accept, expect that it's a vegetable, you know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, this on a salad is next level delish. That's, that's steam right there. Ooh, baby. Hot. You hear it? It's so hot, but that, that is dynamite. Dip it in whatever your heart desires. I'm a ranch girl. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Fantastic. Go to LauraInTheKitchen.com for the written, uh, written recipe. I hope you enjoyed spending, oh! I hope you enjoyed spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.